today I'm going to be doing my September favorites video for you all where I show you my favorite beauty products and more random things that I loved the month of September. So without further ado, let us get on into it. Let's start with skincare and first off I have the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer and I love this. First off, it smells like candy, like straight up like Starburst gummies. It smells so incredibly good. This leaves my skin feeling so soft and so nice and it really sinks into my skin, doesn't leave it feeling greasy or oily. And to top it off, because it is made by a skincare brand and clean and clear, which never breaks me out, it doesn't break me out. And I've just been loving this. My next skincare favorite's a little weird and this is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. So you're probably like, Megan, what in the world is this? I'm gonna be real with you for a second. I have an addiction to Amazon. Like, I am obsessed with Amazon. The website, not like the location. The location, I'm sure, is beautiful too, but alas, I've never been. I was ordering some different skincare things on there because I typically can find harder to find skincare brands there or just ones that are a lot cheaper. I can find it there. And this came up as like a suggested thing after I'd bought something else. It's just powder. Like, it's not like a mask that you can like literally just dip your fingers in and smear all over your face or anything like that. It's literally a powder. And the direction, it has a specific like measurement whether you mix it with water or apple cider vinegar and I mix with apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar is amazing for your skin my skin is like really like pink and feels fresh and new after I use it it doesn't make it feel painful or like tight or anything like that but it's like the best best facial mask I've ever used it clears up my acne amazingly well it makes my skin feel so nice and soft and I've been using it once a week and I still haven't used like any of this I'm just oh. I love this so much. <laughs> now on to makeup. My first makeup favorite of the month was the Lorac Pro to Go palette. And you guys know I was obsessed with the Lorac Pro palette just in general. I love the original one so much. It's like, it's amazing. If you don't have it, you need it. But if you're someone who travels a lot, this will be your little savior. Four eyeshadows and two highlights. But again, these two highlights can be used as highlights on your face or your eyes as well. So technically like six eyeshadows. And then you open it again and it's got two blushes and a bronzer. And then in these little areas, they had brushes, which I have brushes, but they're in my makeup bag. And then, ba freaking bam, your makeup is done and you only need to bring like eyeliner, lip products, and mascara. For somebody who travels a lot or somebody who just tends to overpack makeup, hi, hi, hi. Literally, you can do anything with this. It's got dark colors, you can make a smoky eye, a natural eye, they've got matte shades, shimmery. Lorac, you have outdone yourself again. And this little baby, look how tiny it folds up to. I love it. This has been going with me on all of my trips recently and it's been the only eyeshadows and blushes that I've been using when I've been traveling and I love it. His next beauty favorite is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Bittersweet. And oh my lanta, if I've used one makeup product through the entire month, it has to be this. I've used this like absolutely crazy. It's a cream shadow stick and I use it on my upper lash line. I'll just smudge literally the tiniest bit in the little corner and then on my lower lash line and then I take a pencil brush and smudge it out. And it is so pigmented and it like really blends out to give this gorgeous like smoky look. And then that cream product dries to powder and it lasts all freaking day. It's absolutely amazing. The color I have obviously is just like a dark brown shade. So it creates this like, literally like a smoky eye in like 0.2 seconds a one-stop shop product. I will literally use just this and mascara and I'm good to go and it looks like I've spent like 25 minutes on my makeup. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have like such like a sexy smoldering eye and you're like, yeah, that was one product. This little baby is fantastic. My favorite blush of the month was Rockator by Benefit, which is the new boxed powder by Benefit. And I literally fell in love, in love with this. It's this gorgeous rose gold color. So naturally, every basic girl is sold because you just said rose gold. And that rhymed. Bow, 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 bow. I'm a rapper, yo. This is just a shimmery kind of rose gold blush. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. It just creates such a nice glow and it's so like it's just so pretty it's, it just looks so healthy and gorgeous and it's a little more of a unique blush shade because it's not like so pink or so peach it's like a very warm golden so I just love, love. I've got two favorite lip products and they really 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 range in uh, prices let's start with the cheap one this is the NYC Appalicious Glossy Balm hmm, in Pink Lady these just sound 
so ratchet. <laughs> Basically what this is is a tinted lip balm. I know all y'all's up on that baby lips trend and all y'all's know I am not up on that baby lips trend. Not a fan of baby lips. This is a thousand and one times better than that and I'm pretty sure it's cheaper. I love this. These come in so many different colors and this is just a really nice light natural pink shade. It's moisturizing enough as a chapstick on its own and then you put like you wear it and you're like oh my god I forgot this is actually a really pretty color. And this last lip product is by YSL and this is the Rouge Volup Shine in number 15 which I think is Coral Intuitive? Coral Intuition? Coral something? Coraline Touch? Coral something like that. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Can the viewfinder like the ratchet girl you are. This is just a really pretty warm toned pink shade. Bye Cap! I didn't like you anyway. It's just a really pretty kind of pinky, warmish pink. I really wouldn't say it's a coral. Maybe it is a coral, but I find it a little more neutral than that. They're so creamy and pigmented and smooth and shiny and lovely, and I love them, which is why they're so expensive. But sometimes when it's a shade like this one that I'm gonna wear all the time, it's worth a splurge. And my last beauty-related favorite is this makeup brush, which is so dirty. And this is the e.l.f. Kabuki face brush. And e.l.f. brushes literally cost like one to three dollars. This might have been six dollars because it's really soft and I feel like you could not have sold this for three dollars. I'm just obsessed with this powder brush. It's like my one of my all-time favorite brushes now and it was like three to six dollars, something like that. And it's perfect just for throwing in your purse if you need to like reapply and touch up because it's so tiny. Now on to the random favorites of the month. My favorite YouTuber of the month is Glamour Wonderland. She is a beauty garros here on the YouTubes and I love watching her videos. She's just so cute and fun. I feel like she kind of has a different twist on things and she shows me different products I've never heard anyone else talk about before and just the way she edits her videos and presents them and she's got the cutest voice and I don't know, I just really enjoy her videos immensely. She's a really fun person to watch and she brings a smile to my face when I watch her. So definitely check out her channel down below and tell her that I sent you. My favorite YouTube video video of the month is... <laughs> I have two <laughs> because I can't choose. The first one is by the YouTuber Bethan Show. Bethan Show does the rendition as Gwyneth Paltrow, as if Gwyneth Paltrow was doing the My First Time tag. Probably for like my older demographic who like actually like pays attention to Gwyneth Paltrow and <laughs> her shenanigans. You'll find it absolutely hilarious. It's so funny. And the second one is uh, a parody of Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. I'm sure you've all seen the craziness that was the Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball video, but what is better than that is the version where someone edited Nicolas Cage's face on hers for it. I will have that link down below also. I tweeted it. It just, it's so funny. My favorite TV show of the month was something I've already mentioned, but I feel like I have to do it again because the scene isn't ended and I just have so many feels and that is Under the Dome. The season finale just happened and oh my god! I don't even have words for the show. It's so intense and so incredibly good. It's based off of a Stephen King novel before I said short story and no, it's like a 1500 page book, yeah. Big book and it's basically about this little town called Chester's Mill and one day out of the blue a giant dome comes on over and traps everybody on the inside and it's kind of like survival of the fittest what's going to happen it's really intense it's a drama I'm really excited to see where it goes but if you haven't seen it now the entire first season is out so you definitely have to go download it or watch it or anything like that so you can catch up with me and we can go on Twitter and just talk about our feels because it was just an intense show in a really intense season finale. My favorite musical artist of the month is Foy Vance and I am in love with him. He is one of the most amazing, amazing singers, songwriters, musicians of my life right now. He opened for Ed Sheeran back in February so I've been listening to him for a while but recently his album has just been like my life. I would say he's kind of a mix between an Ed Sheeran meets Bonnie Vare meets Bright Eyes kind of singer. His voice is amazing, the lyrics are amazing, he's just amazing, I love it, I just, I love him. So my favorite book of the month was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and I'm sure so many of you guys have read this book. John Green's one of my all-time favorite authors in the entire world, and boy oh boy was this book an emotional roller coaster. The book is about a girl and a boy who meet at a cancer patient support group, and it's just amazing. It's written so well. John Green, again, is one of the, I think, the best alter authors of this time. He's amazing. He has a way of describing and writing what everybody feels. Like, John Green has this way with words where you read it and you're like, oh my god, like, he understands how I feel. Like, someone has been able to finally get those emotions that I have into words and that's it. He's someone who's an amazingly relatable author and the book is just 
everything he writes is absolutely amazing but the book is just it's just so good this book is actually made into a movie too with one of my favorite actresses her name Shilian Cheyenne Shailene. Shailene. Shailene Woodley. Hmm. Secret Life American Teenager. Descendants. Spectacular Now. One of my favorite all time actresses of my generation. She's absolutely amazing. I listen to it on audible.com, which is an audiobook website. I love it. There are like hundreds of thousands of books you can download. So if you're someone who doesn't have time to read or you're just not a huge fan of reading, I think reading is absolutely amazing. But if you don't have time for it, then not good. Listen to an audiobook. So I'll have my link for audible.com in the down bar. If you click my link and go through that, you can get a 30 day free trial, which means you can download a free book. If this book wasn't your fancy or you've already read it, make sure to check all the other John Green books out because oh, he's just so good. I love the book. So I'll have my Audible link down below. And now the best for last. My final favorite of the month is my blog. Good. And I feel like it's a really fun way for you guys to stay connected with me in between when I upload videos and then stuff that I don't really think deserves an entire video about, you guys can see on my blog. So it is MeganRosette.com and on there I've got fashion and beauty and fun stuff like that. So I really want to know what you guys want to see from that. So you can follow my blog on Bloglovin down there, I'll have it linked. So make sure to check it out and comment on my posts and stuff what you want to see, what kind of more blog posts you'd like to do because I think that'd be really fun. So definitely be sure to check out my blog, it would mean the world to me. I had so much fun making it and working on it so incredibly hard. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. If you want to talk to me a little bit more, make sure to follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram. And now that fall is quickly approaching, I would love to see what kind of video ideas you want me to do for fall, so make sure to leave those in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Singing! Yes, this is it. It is just the Longchamp La Pliage Tote in Law.